We continue to watch this weather right now. Scott Padgett is here with your first alert weather forecast. Also, Jeff Ray joining our team coverage as well. Scott. Hey there, Steve. You saw that uh, first alert meteorologist Jeff Red Eye kind of talking about uh, the storms that are continuing to move through. And you see on the first alert radar tonight uh, that we're seeing this broken line of storms making their way from west to east, moving into north Texas. We still have uh, one severe thunderstorm warning. This is about 50 miles towards the west northwest of Fort Worth. It is a severe thunderstorm warning until 1030 this evening. But the storm over the last probably 10 to 15 minutes is still weakening. It is moving off towards the east near about 50, 55 miles per hour. So here are some approximate times. Uh, it looks like Pedenville, about 10, 17, advanced 10, 27. Poolville, if it's still holding together, around 10 to 32. And that's out of that warning time, caught at about 10, 38. So that's the area where we could see some quarter size hail and winds gusting up to near 60 miles per hour. As you're looking right now, just to the south of Grayford, that's where we do have maybe some hail up to the size of a ping pong ball. Uh, so that's the threat as we're going into tonight. You can see some more lightning from there. We're going to go to look at the radar a little bit on a wider view as we move our way up towards Jacksboro just a bit more. And uh, Jeff was highlighting maybe a little bit of rotation there uh, as we're looking at that. But let's go ahead and go up towards uh, parts of the Chico area and the parts of Jack County now moving into Wise County, the northwest sides. This is not severe, but you're hearing some rumbles of thunder there and some strong winds continue. And this, this is making its way from the west to the east. So this is what we're looking at. Maybe some damaging wind gusts within this as it's continuing to make its way to the east. Let's go ahead and put a track on that if we can, Jeff, uh, that we were watching to see if there was any segment of this that was bowling out or moving faster than the forward motion. And you can see it's going to be Dry Valley right now, Chico 1019. We're at 1016 right now and Albert about 1022. Hard 1028. So that's why we're continuing to show this on the uh, first alert radar going through the remainder of the evening hours. This line is going to continue to make its way from west to east and maybe taper off a bit. Storm winds. This is our CBS News Texas C band radar. Uh, we want to show this to you because uh, you can see the stronger winds that are moving into Chico as they're making their way from west to east. We just gave you that track here on the first alert radar. These winds are sampling. This is about 5,000 feet up. So we're not seeing 88 mile per hour winds at the surface, but definitely seeing some strong winds. And as these storms weaken, they have the potential of some really strong wind gusts with that. So the first alert future cast shows these storms will continue to make their way into the Metroplex by about 1045 to 11 continue to weaken, push their way off towards the east 11 to near about midnight continues to see that push its way eastward. And by the time we then go into the early morning hours, they're tapering off. So nine to about 11 storm timing, about 11 to one in the Metroplex. Now, so tonight damaging wind gusts, the biggest threat for you, possibly some quarter size hail within this marginal risk of severe storms. That's why we have a weather alert tonight. Also, a wind advisory remains in effect till 2 in the morning for winds gusting up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. Uh, wind gusts over the last four hours showing you winds gusting to 30 to 35 to near 40, 46 to 53 in Denton. Those are the storms that are approaching. And as we go through the day today, again, 54 mile per hour wind gusts in Denton. Jeff, that wind advisory ends at 2 in the morning. And by the time we wake up on Monday, it's going to be pretty nice for us. Yeah, we're going to wonder what severe weather event, right? Uh, as we take a look at the three-day forecast, look at tomorrow. Sun is out. We're in the mid-70s. Look at Tuesday, 81 degrees. And Wednesday, we're right back to some rain chances. So we're going to have to be dealing with uh, some nice weather uh, for the next couple of days. But I want to jump ahead and talk about Wednesday, because Wednesday, especially during the morning hours, we're going to be dealing with a little bit of rain. Not severe weather here just some morning rain on Wednesday. Thursday, this happens. Thursday, we have a low pressure system literally moving right overhead, and that's always trouble. And this area yellow, we could have another round of strong to severe weather, and we're contemplating already if this is going to be the next first alert day for us. We can see that it moves quickly through, but notice here, look at the freezing rain and even snow up in Oklahoma mixed in with this. So this is some cold air that is going to be invading us. This is the severe weather 
threat as it looks right now for Thursday. We're under a slight risk from the Metroplex, so the first alert weather team is going to be looking at this as a first alert event possibly. Uh, it looks like the more stronger thunderstorms will be off to the east, but that's again how it looks now. This four days away. We have the event tonight, then tomorrow, nice day. We're in the 80s on Tuesday, mid 70s on Wednesday with that morning rain. Thursday is some strong thunderstorms and the threat of that. The first alert weather team is going to keep you posted on this as we approach. There's that cold air behind the front. We'll have overnight lows down into the 30s, only in the upper 50s for an afternoon high, and that's with sunshine, but very strong winds. We get into next weekend and things are warming up. We'll start in the 30s next weekend. We end up near 70 degrees by the time we get to Sunday.